Okay, so the in the Blue Letter Bible, it has this header break. It says, be ready for his coming. Matthew 24, 42 says, watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord does come. So again, what 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 do you think we've been saying? Look up. Your redemption drive. When you see all these things happen, be ready. But <clears throat> the, the flip side is, you know what? You don't think he's going to happen? At the moment you think that, he's going to come back. Mm. So that's why we need to live every day. Like today could be the day. And I've heard people say, yeah, I'd love the Lord to come right now. Yeah. But the flip side, live like you're going to be 100 years old. So prepare for a long life, invest, make money, work. Because some of those people from that one false cult that 125, 30 years ago, yeah. they sold everything they had. They got dressed in white robes. They went up in their roof. San Diego. That was the number one cause of death that year, 20 some years ago, was UFOs. Heaven's Gate, I think it was called. Heaven's Gate. That's Heaven's when I got Gate. saved. So they all I, went and you know, they all went and drank the Kool-Aid down there and died. 97 1997 wow uh, it has been that long ago since yeah. that wow so a bunch of people died because they were given false information fake news in in fake news and so they died so live like every day could be the day but live like you're going to be 100 Mm -hmm. So get a job, get married, go to work, uh, invest money, you know, prepared like you're going to live forever. And if God comes, great. Because you got to remember, 70 some years ago, our grandparents and great grandparents, they thought Hitler was the Antichrist. They thought mm -hmm. Mussolini was the false prophet. But biblically literate guys then said, no, they're not. This is a war and rumor war because Israel wasn't in the land then. Yep. Oh, guess and what? Now they are. Israel's in the land today. So when you see all these things come to pass, look up. That's all Ezekiel 36 and 37. Fulfilled prophecy. Fulfilled prophecy. Yeah. Okay. So Matthew 24, 43 says this, but know this, know this, mm -hmm. that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken into. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, you be ready for such an hour as you think not the Son of Man comes. So, you know mm. what? Go about your daily business. But it's kind of like when you're driving, you know, you're driving down the road, you're looking ahead of you, but you have three items in your car or two if you ride a motorcycle to see what's gaining on you or what's behind you. Mm -hmm. okay? You got two rear uh, view mirror inside your your uh, windshield and two driver's side passenger side to look behind you windshield uh, looking forward but you're looking back behind you you uh need to be ready the re rearview mirror rearview mirror you know there was an old baseball player named satchel page that said that uh you don't want to look behind you because something might be gaining on you hmm. so uh live like you can be a full life be ready to go and and uh live every day to the fullest the gifts that you've been given yeah isn't so, that kind of selfish of like us christians I, I i wish jesus has come right now but imagine if he did your loved ones who don't know jesus you know you we're we're to be the light and the salt of the earth and we are to live for christ and to win souls for christ and preach the gospel do what we're called to do you know of course we want to go to heaven but we're gonna we'll be there but you know what? We have a job to do right now. That yep, job so. is to tell people about Jesus. This is what we're doing here under new management. Yes. Trying to tell, try to give the hope, give hope to the hopeless by giving you Jesus. So right? I got, I got saved December of 1986. Terry got saved. January 21st, 1998. Okay. So if you think about the late great planet earth how lindsay wrote that book in 1969 and then he had a whole string of books in the 80s mm -hmm. and guys like chuck smith and chuck misler and grant jeffrey and a host of other uh, guys that were big names back then yeah 
A lot of people got excited. Rapture's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It didn't happen because if it would have happened, you know, where would I be? Where would Terry be? Yeah. Where would you be? Okay. So the Bible says from age to age, God gathers a people to himself. Mm. And so, yes, and then the Bible says that God is long suffering, wishing none should perish, but all should come to repentance. Yeah. But there is a day where that window is going to close. Mm-hmm. And right now, that's what I tell people. I said, the reason we're still here, the reason we're having this conversation together and with you is that God is long suffering. Mm-hmm. Okay? Very patient. Now, we've talked about it before. He's coming to Muslims in their dreams in, in, in Islamic countries. That's They're true. In Jesus. He's shown up to communist Chinese in, in, in their dreams. Mm-hmm. They're getting saved. Um, there's a whole generation of young people. You know, you've heard reports in the last couple of years where outbreaks, revivals are happening in colleges, campuses. Because yeah. these kids have seen the wreckage of their parents and grandparents' lives of, of houses full of junk and stuff and fighting and arguing and crying. And uh, you have a house full of stuff. Did it buy you happiness? No. Okay. So that's why hopefully, you know, the, this broadcast you know the, the message is the and the final analysis and the jews are getting saved and jews are getting saved in okay? israel that you know what be 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 ready the lord come anytime but be also ready to live a full long life yeah well if he comes back awesome yeah if you live to be a hundred awesome but don't be debbie downer yeah okay go <laughs> serve the lord with joy and gladness how many there's so many we should do a video on how many prophecies have come to pass in the old testament even jesus's birth the prophecies of jesus birth over 300 right there was 330 some prophecies of his first coming and i have read in different spots and messages i've seen guys over the years 800 to 900 prophecies of the second coming Mm. okay wow so if there's that many, yeah, I'm sure there's some very smart person who's gone out there and, and collected that stuff mm-hmm. of, of these prophecies that we could dig up some. How about the prophecy of 8070? Jesus predicted that. Well, he said, and this is where the Jews helped out. He mm-hmm. said, just the people that of that time frame uh, cried out to crucify him. Yeah. And they said, let his blood be upon us and our children. And what happened in 70 AD, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem. A million and a half Jews got killed. The price of slaves dropped to pennies on the slave because the Romans got fed up with the arrogant Jews and they, they got slaughtered because yeah. they knew not the time of their visitation. Mm. So here we are now, you know, 2000 years later, we're seeing the signs of his return you know, you need to be ready. 